Hi guys, welcome back to our new session of the Jira. In this session, I will explain you about how to create a task or subtask in Jira. So, we'll discuss here what is subtask in Jira, how to create a subtask, detailed setup, and how to delete a subtask whenever it is added by mistake. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with practical content. So, once you log in inside the Jira credential, you are able to see this where you have to select your project name. Once you select your project name, you have to go to your inside the sprint. Double click on that and you are able to see the screen. So before moving to the creation of subtask, let's understand what is subtask. So let's understand by using one example if we are working with recording feature and we want to implement it or product owner has provided a user story to implement this user story so these user story are always divided into different tasks which is going to be handled by different teams like development team will create their implementation and testing team will test it and UAT team will certify that is working according to the requirement so these are the three steps we can see that it might differ with project to project and functionality to functionality. So subtask is we are dividing one feature or functionality in different different groups so that each and every team can pick it up and work according to their assignment. So for creating subtask you have to click on create sub subtask and add it. So for development, if we are adding here dev uh, build recording functionality T and click on create. As you can see here, it's created now for QA team or we can add one more for dev build logic now we are going to create for the QA prepare test cases now I want to add one more QA execute the test cases and if there is any defect has been reported so that is also required to be tested defect rated testing now it's done for the QA let's do it for uh, UAT as well so UAT test case preparation so each team will add their task and or it's done by any of the team member or by the scrum master itself basically it's done by the individual team who is going to add their task so q uh, sorry let's see uat test execution and defect testing both I've added here so once it is done let's understand what is the flow so this is a task ID soft task ID the description and wherever is the phase you can change it according to your need done in progress or view workflow like this so this is how we can create the soft task uh, if you want to share you can share it from here and if you want to move or clone it or delete any of the tasks, select that task and delete it from your or repository. Uh, so here you can do the attachment of each and every task. If you have any link or anything available, you can do this. Uh, deleting is possible from here if you want to delete it. Any subtask added by mistake. So let's see the board or the backlog contain where we have created so here you can see it so 
if we want to filter out now you can see this is still not added I think because of that it's not showing yeah so inside the active sprint you can see all the subtasks are available here so whenever it is done like if we can take example of developing team build the reporting uh, recording functionality if it is in progress they can move it to this progress state you can see it's moved and once it is done you can move it to the done state so by this way we can change the status and if it is completed we can see that move to the complete sprint so by this way we can create our own task and uh, update the status according to our need if it is required to be do some other operation like deleting add flag print selected value bottom of swim lane top of swim lane this uh, action we can perform it by selecting or uh, right clicking on each sub task you can also uh, select the task or edit post creating it so just like you have created this you want to update any of the fields you can do that or if you want to move the priority to medium to high or highest you can do that so if you want to provide your vote option you can also give it the feedback so these both options one these for the team available and this is for the top notch who wants to provide the feedback about their progress and all so configure fields are also available you can change the issue layout and each and every of the sub task so by this way we can see that how to create our sub task do the detail setup and delete it or change the progress of the report according to our need so this is all how we can see that our creation of sub task is completed so hope you like this if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching